hello youtubers welcome to two awesome tutorials and I'm back with another video about Autodex CFD so in this video we'll be continuing uh, the, the pipe model that we have modeled in the previous video which will be importing it into our Autodex CFD in order to simulate water flow through the pipe so I have my workplace opened of Autodex CFD Ultimate I'm gonna head to launch and I'm gonna select new here we'll be selecting our pipe model that we have exported from our Fusion 360 on my desktop pipe 2 and I'm gonna name this design study create it's gonna take a couple of seconds and now that we have imported our pipe into CFD workspace we are able to see the model as well as some options popped up which says geometry tools so we're gonna play around a bit with geometry tools we're gonna smoothen the edges merge so basically it simplifies your model and it is easier to simulate when your model is completely sim uh, simplified so we can then as you can see we're gonna run internal flow through this pipe so we're gonna have to go to void flow or we can go to external volume if we are running uh, fluid outside of your model so in my case we're gonna select f uh, void flow and now it's asking me to select edges I'm gonna select this edge here I'm gonna build surface here first and then I'm gonna select the other end of the pipe and then I'm gonna build surface here as well now as you can see there's a, there's a void inside this uh, pipe so I'm gonna uh, click on fill void and now the internal uh, internal uh, geometry is created so we can hit uh, we can just close it now and now as you can see on the left side I'm able to see the material and boundary condition and all the steps that we need to we need to do before solving the simulation so first of all I'm going to start off with, with selecting the materials now as you can see there's one unassigned here and that's the that's the part so that's the that's the pipe I'm going to assign this material I'm going to click on edit and then go with solid uh, I can go with stainless steel so apply and the other material that's inside of this pipe which we created using CFD say CFD created volume this is the 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 volume that will be used as as my fluid so in my case we've already set it to water so we're using water okay so the next step we need to do in order to solve our CFD uh, problems we need to do the, the boundary condition so the boundary condition for this is gonna be the inlet and the outlet the inlet is this here and the outlet is this uh, on the right side so we're gonna start with inlet I'm gonna select uh, the inlet right click on it edit and then we can add velocity we can add different sort of things to it I've also made another tutorial on internal volume uh, for solving the simulation so you can also check it out for for more to get more knowledge on uh, solving various problems or various simulations so in my case I'm gonna go with uh, inlet flow as velocity I'm gonna add about about 10 uh, meter per second yes and then I'm gonna hit OK and on the other end uh, I'm gonna click on edit yeah, I'm gonna click on edit and then I'm gonna select as unknown so it's, it's gonna give me the values that are coming out of the pipe apply so as you can see I've selected uh, I've created two boundary conditions for inlet and outlet and now we can move to the next step so the next step is meshing I use automatic mesh so literally when I click on solves is automatically gonna mesh it for me we can also add initial conditions but because of our static problem not gonna use uh, initial condition and then we can uh, simply solve the problem clicking on solve double clicking on solve and I've got a few options here as control physics adaptation you can you can play around with these 
uh, with these conditions if you have if you have the values given for these conditions or you have something in mind obviously you can change it there's a lot of options uh, however in this case we are, we're going to use the default uh, default conditions and then you have iterations to run the longer you put it the, the longer it will take so uh, right now I'm just going to go with about about 35 and uh, hit, hit solve now we'll give it about uh, it's going to take about a minute or two so I'm going to join you back or after is complete. Mission is completed. You can see in your message window analysis completed successfully. Or if you had any error during the simulation, then you will get the error here. If you see on the convergence plot, you'll be able to see different uh, different colored lines uh, going uh, from from one to whatever iteration you ran your your simulation for. And on your right, you can also see uh, what the what the different colored line indicate. So as you can see, the black one here is for pressure. The pink one here is for velocity in z direction. And then if you see your model. You will you will be able to see some sort of results. However, you can uh, visualize your results in different ways. So in my case, I'm gonna look at it first, and then I'm gonna try to visualize it in 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 traces form. So I'm able to see how the traces are going from this end to the to the outlet. So first of all, I'm gonna see how my parts are looking. The water. And stainless steel, I can ha I can outline my stainless steel because I do not want to see this. So uh, you can right click on it, outline. So it's outlined right now. You can see the blue water, uh, blue indicating water, and then I have planes, points, and also of uh, ways to visualize your your results. And I'm gonna go and try to get some traces. So by uh, by going to results, head to traces, and then create set, add, and oh, you can add traces what uh, next to your inlet or outlet or even within the pipe where your fluid is flowing. I'm gonna use the front side to to start uh, drawing uh, drawing the set of points for my for my traces. Start from this end, create set, add, yeah. So I'm gonna start from, wait, to redo it because accidentally I just clicked twice. I'm gonna start from here and then I'm gonna create it up to here. Then you can use these axes to move around your, your points. So I'm it. I should be able to see my traces now and you can also see a few dots here however I'm not able to see my traces due to due to the the other solid components covering it so what we can do is we can outline uh, your water as well so you're able to see the traces of that water and then inside here you can now see how your water uh, how your water is behaving inside the pipe and how the how the speed, how the velocity magnitude is varying. In here, we can see that the, the the color of the traces is, is about light blue, and the speed uh, on your on your top left, you can also see the scale. You can see the speed of uh, the magnitude of the the velocity magnitude of the traces or of the water is about one thousand uh, centimeter per second uh, in uh, in the inlet, uh, and once you reach that you reach that link between the smaller diameter pipe and uh, a larger diameter pipe you can see how the, the velocity magnitude changes so you can see after uh, after this uh, uh, interlink you can see the velocity has gone up to maximum you can see the traces are red and you can also read uh, the velocity magnitude so this is one way of uh, interpreting the results 
and now we would like to see some some static pressure as well so in order to see static pressure you can simply uh, yeah so you can simply go to uh, global click on static pressure and now you can see the static pressure but don't uh, but don't think that the traces should change color into static pressure because we still have our velocity magnitude enabled so it's, it's showing you the, the velocity magnitude what you need to do is uh, you simply need to use uh, use the parts you need to make your parts visible so I'm gonna make it shaded here the water now you can see how the static pressure is changing in the pipe and there's a lot of other options that you can use to interpret your your simulation results however I'll be ending my tutorial here if this video helped you make sure you hit the like button and you, you, sh you and make sure that you are subscribed to awesome for more see you in the next video bye bye